garba people. You all went to the pet with the dresses and everything, isn't it? No, sir. We came here, we hired the clothes. Did you get the beer in Chennai? Yes, sir. We hired the clothes. Oh, surprise. Lovely dance. Thank you, Master. Good evening, Master. She has this. The whole dance. She has a teacher. She has a school dance. Oh, you taught them? Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Well, Garba only needs, you know, spirit. Yes, Master. They are highly spirited. They learned it in just three days. They have to be very nice. Thank you, Master. Well, the boys did very well too. <laughs> you sang the Jagjit Singh yes. song, no? You forgot Kagil ki kashti one. Anyway, it is good. He said Barish ki kashti. Anyway, it shows your heart is in the right place. So do well in your life. Remember Omega. Hmm? Yes, Master. This is your guiding spirit. Yeah, I want to see some of you here, you know, because you are all contributing to this. Thank you, Master. Oh, very good. Yes. The school staff should not treat alumni as something separate or. Different. Never master. I was there for the program. Yes. <laughs> the alumni is probably what we call the soul of uh, Omega. Yes. Okay. In one of the pictures, photographs, you can say the soul of Omega. <laughs> we will do it. <laughs> Okay. Thank you, Master. Master, the newsletter of the alumni is coming. The first one is it? Yes, Master. Yes, we'll be issuing one every three months. You already got it out. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Fast work. Fast work. There's a few articles about different students they have written. Illuminate Times. Master, can you suggest a name for this? Omega Exposed. Because you're all going to write from your heart. <laughs> yes, Master. Or you can say the heart of Omega. Heart of Omega. So you don't call it alumni times. Yeah. The heart of Omega. I'll keep this. Yes, Master. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you see, suppose you have to get up at 6 o'clock in the morning. Get up. People generally set the alarm and ignore it. No. Then what's the use of the alarm? Then you wake up at 9 o'clock. And then says, oh my God. You know, the, I have people here with me. We get up at uh, 3.30, 4 in the morning. You can't sleep after that. <laughs> Make it a habit. Willpower must be a habit. You know? Things which I have to do, I must do. Similarly, things which I should not do, I must not do. You see, pleasure is a temptation. Comfort is a temptation. You know, when you sleep all nice, 
matters is this is in our air conditioners and bodies, curtains. You don't know whether it's night or day. Eat it. Listen to the birds and get up. They get up before you. Why should they? That is why my master in his 10 maxims said, be simple and in tune with nature. Eat it. Listen to the outside. I hear birds sometimes, you know, single bird at half past two in the morning. And then sleep in here. <laughs> <laughs> then at 3.30, half a dozen start. And by five, they're all calling to each other and make it a habit, you know. Don't say, what will I do? Get up and then you have enough to do. Don't get up and you have too much to do, I don't have time enough to do it. See, willpower is nothing but determination to do what has to be done. And uh, you know, I don't go to sleep without finishing my day's work, whatever it is. I don't leave anything left for the world. Nothing whether it be mails or letters or sittings. People would be say, no, no, you are tired, you must rest, I say, no rest. Rest only when work is finished. Rest is not in between, see. Rest only when work is finished. No, no, I am so tired. You are not so tired. <laughs> it's just a bad habit, okay. Indiscipline is a bad habit, discipline is a good habit. That's all there is to it. Don't let your eyes decide. Let your heart decide. You know. And don't be coupled by your parents. Tell them this is my life. <laughs> you have had your life. I didn't tell you whom to marry. <laughs> you don't tell me whom to marry. I will marry only by when my heart says yes. No consideration of caste, of money, of anything. No. And no Amitabh Bachchan. <laughs> okay. I once asked my master, Bhavji Maharaj, about corruption. No. He said, only God can change it. No. <laughs> it is too deep and too widespread for an individual to attempt it. So we pray. You don't have to be in politics to change politicians. No. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be a policeman to drive properly. Mm -hmm. Every person who drives a car can drive carefully, obeying the law. Then you don't need policemen. Isn't it? You go to foreign countries, you don't see policemen waving their hands around. Even at midnight, if it's a red light, they stop. No car anywhere in sight. But they stop until the light changes. Here, even in daytime, with the policeman blowing his whistle, <laughs> and who does the wrong thing? The man sitting in the car. He said, Sir, he said, Chalo, Chalo. Sir, Lal Bati, I take it, Chalo. And how are you going to change them? If he has stopped, he will give 50 rupees to the policeman and go on. So you see, until each individual is willing to be law-abiding, as a matter of personal regard, you know, for yourself, when you tell the truth, nobody is going to applaud it or, ah, you know. But you have the satisfaction that I am truthful, I am honest. And as my master said, honesty is so good reward. Because today people will ask you, what have you got by being honest? No. I am not supposed to get anything by being honest. Thank God I am able to be honest. Understand? So that's what we do. We, we do what we have to do. And that is its reward. I am grateful to God for permitting me to be what I am. I don't expect any other reward for it. Can you tell your father 
Daddy, Daddy, give me something. I am very honest. <laughs> yeah. If I were your daddy, I would give you a kick. <laughs> Not very hard. But. Master. Master. Master, I have joined my father in his business. Your okay. father? In his business. He has joined his father in his business. Master. Yes, but remember, honest business always pays. You see, like a honest investment gives you eight percent, nine percent, ten percent. Dishonest investment gives you forty percent. But then there's a risk. Mm -hmm. Isn't it? You may lose your money. You may get a bad name. You may have to go to jail. So honesty doesn't pay dividends like that. But you need a happy life. My investments are safe. You know, eight percent is eight percent. Like that. So similarly, we invest our ourselves, you know, in our job. I have to be always like that. Honest business cannot make you a millionaire in three months, can it? If there is only one road and you are going on it, driving, you don't wonder wonder whether the road is correct, you know. But if there is a branch and there are three roads, then you are wondering which to undertake. So there is a problem with choice. When you have choices, you think there are three roads or five roads or fifteen roads, and you are, you know, anxious. You have blood pressure because you don't know which one to take. You know in your heart, but because there is always the, you know, the problem of the heart pulling one side and the mind pulling the other way. So tell the mind to shut up and follow the heart. You'll never be wrong. Understand? 